the MSU Rice Genomics Resource has mounted a genome browser to graphically represent annotation of the rice genome. You can select regions of the rice genome to view via the graphical representation of the rice genome at the top right of the page. There are the official 12 chromosomes in green labeled 1 through 12, the mitochondrion, the red circle, and the chloroplast genomes, the green circle. We have also created two artificial pseudomolecules. The unanchored UN and the Syngenta SY pseudomolecules are in blue. The unanchored pseudomolecule is based on back and packs sequenced by the IRGSP that we are unable to anchor to one of the 12 chromosomes. These back and packs have been stitched together head to tail to form a single pseudomolecule. The Syngenta pseudomolecule is Syngenta nipambari sequences that we were unable to align with the 12 chromosomes and represent novel sequences from Nipambare. Just click on one of the glyphs to load the browser. Alternatively, you can also view regions of the genome by using the search function in the landmark or region search box. Type in the box <clears throat> either a keyword such as a functional annotation like aquaporin or a locus ID. First, let's try using the landmark sample locus. If you do not wish to see the banner at the top of the page, you can click Hide Banner. And if you wish to see it again, click Show Banner. You can also bookmark the currently displayed chromosomes and the track page. There is a link to the image, and you can also view a high-resolution image. And you can click Help at any time. If there is extra information on the page you do not wish to view, you can collapse it by clicking the minus button. To get the information back again, just click the plus button. The overview panel provides an overview of your selection. In this example, we are viewing a position at 14.6 megabases on chromosome 10. The details panel provides more detail on the selection. The default view shows a magnified region of chromosome 10, the back tiling path in this region, and the locus and gene models. This locus includes a core histone domain containing protein which is based on EST, full-length cDNA, MPSS, SAGE, and or proteomic data. The gene model is shown below the locus. The exons are shown by boxes and the introns by lines. The non-coding regions are in white and the coding regions are in blue. You can find more details on this locus on the MSU OSA1 Release 6.1 Annotation Gene Report page by clicking on the Locus Glyph. On the Gene Report page, you will see the name of the locus, links to download the sequence, and a link to return home to the genome browser. Gene identification information, gene ontology classification, gene attributes, gene structure, including locus and gene models, PFAM domains, and BLAST-P search results against UNIREF 100. Just click on the Rice Genome Browser link to return home, and you can click Reset at any time to return the page to the default state. 